upon a time, there was a poor miller. No, that's how they all stand, isn't it? He was a miller, but he wasn't poor. Though he was a little bit poorer than he had been. Thieves! Don't tell everyone. How is anybody supposed to make an honest living with you announcing it to everyone? I hadn't actually said anything. And besides, you're not making an honest living. And besides... We don't have time to hang about talking to you. Right. Now, where was I? Oh, yes! The miller whose name was Macram. Stop thieves! I've been wrong! Stop thieves! Calm down, dear! Calm down! It wouldn't do any good! Just sit down and take it easy. Anyway, as I was saying, oh, you'll soon get the idea. Stop thieves, I've been robbed. Stop thieves. Whatever is the matter? <coughs> ah, Morgiana, the master has been robbed. We have fallen victim to thieves. Where are they? They have gone. But don't you worry about them. They are dangerous. Just go and fetch the master a drink of water. Yes. And call the police. Yes, ma'am. Morgan has become a good and loyal servant. And she will continue to be a good and loyal servant, but not for us. Yeah. Thank you, Morgana. Please send for my two sons. I need to speak to them. Yes, ma'am. I'm told you've been a victim of a theft. That is correct. My name is Nadia, and this is my husband, Macron. Leave it to us. The cutting edge of the law enforcement that's us, the cutting edge. Now, what exactly has been stolen? Gold dust. I thought this was a corn mill. It is. You sell up corn and the money you make, you buy gold dust. It increases in value. It's called investment. Well, why just simple police officers? We wouldn't really know about such things. Write that down in case we ever get any money. So we're looking for dust. Gold dust. But still dust. Wouldn't it have blown away? It's in bugs. Well, some of us are more simple than others. You just leave it all to us. Now, Makram and Nadia had two sons. Kasim, who had ambitions to take over the mill, and Ali, who might have had ambitions if it wasn't for Kasim. Oh, my two sons, Kasim and Ali. And my love daughter, Lofarida. Where's my other loved daughter-in-law, Serena? She's out shopping, father. Of course she is. It was a silly question, wasn't it? Your father and I have just been robbed. It is all right. The police are on the case, and neither of us were in. But worrying about such matters has put your father under a great deal of strain. Indeed it has. The miller's doing quite well, which is probably why the thief decided to come here. I have decided to retire. We have our eye on a little place by the seaside. But what about the mill? Well, naturally, I passed on to one of my sons. Which one? Oh, what a silly question to ask. It would have to be Kasim, of course. He is the oldest and, and does have head business. While you, Ali, don't. You're a carpenter, Ali. I'm sure you might be a very good one. But I'm the one who knows about making money. I'm a natural. You can leave it with me. Go and enjoy your retirement by the seaside. We shall. Good luck, Asim. Goodbye, Ali. I'm sorry it had to be this way. You just carry on with your competing, dear. So Kasim got the mail because he knew all about money. Well, he had to all know all about money, didn't he? Oh, Kasim, you don't know how exhausted I am. Morgiana, go and bring in the rest of my shopping. Well, go on, girl. Don't you stand there. Ah, Ali and Farida, the poor relations. Have I missed anything? You know my father and mother always said there'd be a time where they weren't here anymore. Why? Are they going to die and leave us everything? <laughs> Not quite. They are retiring and passing the mill to me. Oh, clever Kasim, that means I'll have even more shopping to go shopping with. Didn't you want it, Ali? 
I wasn't offered it. Of course you weren't. It wasn't a real question. I was just being polite. There wouldn't be much a point of you two becoming rich anyway. You didn't know what to do with it. But Marley is a decent man. Business is not about decency. You stick to your carpentry. It's an honest trade. You'll be happy enough. Even though you'll always be immensely poor. I may even find you two jobs for you to do at the mill. I think. Ah, Morgiana, this way and be careful not to drop anything. Think we may need to get rid of that girl. Why? Too pretty. Too pretty by half. <laughs> Yes, I know what you're going to say. Why didn't I say something? Why didn't I stick up for myself? Because that's not the way you are. You're a good man, Alibaba. Kasimi's a greedy man. And as for that wife of yours... No, Serena has her good points. Name some, or even just one. Well... Well... I'm sure I'll come up with one eventually. It's not that I want all the things that Serena wants, but just a little bit of money would help. I'll get back to the workshop then. I'll be a successful carpenter. He's a good man, but not a lucky one. Now it's funny you should say that. Why? Because his luck isn't going to get any better. Ah, <laughs> oh, sergeant. I hear that you're searching for the theater of Makram the Miller. An ongoing inquiry, madam. An ongoing inquiry. So we're currently looking for the Miller's son, Ali Baba. That's my husband. Is that a problem? We hope not. Did I hear someone mention my name? I am Ali Baba. Occupation? I'm a carpenter. What do you make? Wooden things. Can you be more specific? I can do a very nice peg. Ah, yes. I can see the craftsmanship. Thank you. What do you do with these? You use them to fasten clothes on a washing line, sergeant. I don't mean how to use them. I mean, what do you do once you've made a load of these? He sells them at the market. Do you have a market trader's license? Do I need one? You do now. They're new rules. We never knew anything about those. No problem. Just fill in the forms and you'll get a license. And you'll be able to sell your pegs with no problem of being handcuffed and locked up. When does he get the license? Well, let's see. If he, if he fills in the forms in the next hour and takes them back to the police station, he should be getting his license in six to eight months. <laughs> now, let's go and see if we can find some real criminals. much money in pegs anyway. If we can't sell any of them, we'll stop. My brother Kasim said that he might give me some work at the mill. Don't count on it, unless he thinks you're going to work for nothing. All he and Serena think about is money, and half of that money from the mill should be yours. I will better get these filled in. I repeat, he's a good man, but not a lucky one. If I said it's over and over and over again, could you please come up with something better? You'll just have to wait and see. Alibaba, are there any jobs I can do for you? Why would you be doing jobs for me? You work at the mill. I worked at the mill for your parents, and I was very happy. So now you work for my brother Kasim. I cannot work for Kasim and Serena. They're so unpleasant. Besides, they didn't want me, so I'm your servant now. But Farida and I can't pay you. It doesn't matter. I'm sure it does. But we can offer you a roof over your head and some food, but it won't be anything grand. Well, that's all right then. It won't be for too long. Only until I finish my studies. What are you studying? Magic. I'm going to be a sorcerer. There's such a lot to learn. You mean you'll be able to do tricks and cast spells? Sort of. But I'll only be allowed to do good. No tricks. 
tricks are just for fun. And that is not what sorcery is all about. But I have to prove myself first. By doing what? I have to demonstrate intelligence and cunning of an understanding of what is good and right and fair. You get credits. They're like points. It's a bit like moving up a level on a computer game. What's a computer game? It's a, it's a game on a computer. No. No. <laughs> Never mind. One of my courses was looking into the future, so it could be clear one day, I suppose. When I have, when I have enough credits, I'll be allowed to perform, cast a spell, or perform some feat of sorcery. But that would be some time from now. In the meantime, is there anything I can do for you? Not for me, but perhaps Freya has something you can do at the house. I'll go and ask. Now, where are those policemen? I think they might be needed now. Shh! Oh, it's you again with the big mouth. This is what I call a good day's work. You can never have enough gold, that's what I say. For a minute, I thought that bloke at the mill was going to chase us. But he had no sense. If he tried it, well, well, we might have had to put him off. He's not going to get this back, that's for sure. You know we're going to have to get a bigger cave to add our living. But for now, the ones we have, we'll have to do. Come on, let's get this here. Did you see that goal? Of course you did. You were watching, weren't you? And yeah. never came full of loot. It could be my last time's turn. Ali, still scraping a living. How's the pet business? You'd be pleased to know that the mill is doing awfully well. Of course it wouldn't have been if you were running it. Well, I can't stop here all day. There may be a few shops still open. <laughs> now just have to put those thieves. <coughs> We now make our way to the thieves' secret cave, but we need to be quiet because it's secret and we don't want to know alert anyone that we're here. Did you hear someone just then? No, boss. Good, so this is the most secret of all secret hideaways. If I knew a new buddy, we would have to kill them! The most brutal way imaginable! Right, let's get it. The magic word? What's the magic word? We, we can never remember it. Good, that's, that's why I'm the boss. Oh my dear, oh my dear, I say, oh my dear, oh my But the thieves had been seen and heard. Lisa! 
such a prayer that keeps on telling me. I only take what you need to do. the mill, now run by Kasim, things weren't going so well. Build, build, build. <laughs> I keep on more builds. No, 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 Take your time to answer, Kasim. Of course, my love. I'm sure you will turn up. Shall I carry these for you? Well, it's Morgiana. I'm the Baba's only servant. I mean, how can anybody manage with only one servant? And I'm surprised you can even afford that one. It's because I'm doing it for free. Doing it for free? Perhaps you should have stayed here. No. You're still far too pretty. And obviously rather stupid too. Can I help you? My master Alibaba wishes to borrow some great skills. The ones you wear your green, green and the milk. How commendable. One must help one's relations, I suppose. I'm going to get them. I'm not going to tell you. I didn't ask, and I already have it all written down. Well, don't tell Serena. There you are. I'll bring them back soon. Don't rush. Kasim won't be doing any milling this afternoon. He has a headache. I can't imagine why. <laughs> so Morgiana took the scales to Alibaba's house. Where did you get this? You came by it honestly, I hope. Of course I did. I'm entitled to it. Good, because you're a good man. So you keep on telling me. I'm also a poor man, but perhaps not so quite poor as I was. This is the gold the thief stole from my father. How much is there? We're about to find out. My father was very particular about how much gold he had in those bags. We are going to weigh them to see whether the thieves lost any, spilled any, take it, or taken any of it out. That's the thing with thieves. You just can't trust them. If they have, I'll have to go back to the cave and make up the difference. But that is all. And then I'll write an anonymous note to the police about the rest. Come on, it won't take long, and then Mogiana can take the scales back. Can you take them back? I don't like Serena. She frightens me. She frightens Kasim as well. I'll take them back. You never know. If this works out, we might be able to start paying you after all. Well, I can't stop. 
When you're as desperately poor as I am, you can't afford to take a rest. What are you doing? I put a very thin coating of sticky wax in the tray. With any luck, it'll leave the trace of the flower they were weighing in here. Only I'll bet you it wasn't flour. Well, if there was flour, we would be able to see it. But what there is, is a tiny speck of gold dust. Now where did a poor carpenter get gold dust? And enough gold dust that he even needs to weigh it. I think I need a word with my brother. A very strong word. He won't tell you. Oh, I think he will. So Kasim went to ask Alibaba where he got the gold from. He asked nicely. Then not so nicely. Ah! That hurts, you know. That really hurts. It serves you right for being so secretive. You surely wouldn't want to keep your secret heart of gold from me, would you? Anything else in that cave has nothing to do with me. I've only gotten back what was stolen from father. That's the trouble with you, Ali. You don't look at the bigger picture. Now go off, get back to your clothes, Peg. And now it was Kasim who made his way to the thieves' cave. Right, this is it. Open Sesame! Kasim gathered as much gold as he could carry. Perhaps even more than he could carry. Right. This will do. I can always come back for more. And there's some wise. He's at this job getting rich. Kasim took an, but Kasim had a little too much to drink and soon fell fast asleep just as the thieves arrived at their cave. <laughs> Getting worried about me. So she should be. 
You should be getting worried about yourself. You are in great danger. Am I? Really? <laughs> really? Take him away. We need to discourage this kind of thing for good. Close Sesame! Back at the mill, Serena was getting worried. Soon the police were on the point of giving up. We're certainly not on the point of giving up. We're just considering other avenues of inquiry, as it obviously is in this one. Ah, oh, it's you, Ali Baba, the carpenter, and Mrs. Baba. And me, Morgiana. Except for my license, we have more serious things to think about at this moment. We have a missing person. <laughs> Well, we don't have it. If we did, you wouldn't be missing. <laughs> Aren't we? Yes, I think they understand. Have you seen this man? Yes. Well, that's sorted out then. Of course I've seen him. He's my brother. But we haven't seen him for a while. Yes, right, man. Right, on way, man. On way. Mogiana, can you please go check on Serena for us? I do hope nothing has happened to Kasim. So do I. But I think I know where he might be. How's Serena? She's all right for the moment. She's making space in her wardrobe for the next lot of shopping. So she obviously thinks Kasim is coming back. <clears throat> what is that? It was left outside the thief's cave. Hmm. Perhaps it's a present the postman has just ripped off. Or it's been left for a charity collection. Or it's a place for passing Rambler. I don't think so. I think it has something to do with Kasim. <coughs> That's why I brought it here. I have a strange feeling about this. <laughs> As part of my studies, I've been developing my special powers. And I can sense when something's wrong. I haven't been studying anything, and I can sense something is wrong. Go on then, open it! Why me? Work experience. <laughs> oh dear! What is it? It's your brother, Kasim. Are you sure? <laughs> He didn't look like this the last time I saw him. Well, he hadn't been chopped up into lots of pieces then, had he? There's a note. Let this be a warning to those who go sticking their noses 
in where they shouldn't. Obviously, Kasim stuck his nose where he shouldn't. Obviously. I can't actually see his nose, now that you come to mention it. I always said he was too greedy for his own good. We have to tell Serena. We can't let her see him like this. No, it would be best if he hadn't been chopped up into lots of pieces. That's exactly what he would think. I would definitely think being chopped up into lots of pieces definitely counts as a suspicious death. The police will have to know about these things. And they might ask awkward questions. About what? Kasim's death. They know I was upset when I didn't get the mail. If he'd been murdered, who's the prime suspect? And I could have written that note to put them off the scent. We need to come up with a plan. You need to come with a plan, Morgiana. Time to prove yourself. Well done. We'll get rid of this. Did Morgiana have a plan? Well, let me think. Just let me think. I need some medicine. Why? Are you unwell? No, it's part of my plan. No sign of him. No sign at all. This is very mysterious. Morgiana, you need to tell your master, Ali Baba, that we cannot find any trace of his brother Kasim and get him to pass the message to Kasim's wife so we don't have to. It's all right. He's turned up. Someone could have told us. He's only just come back. Is he safe and well? Not quite. In fact, he's very ill. That's why I have to be buying all these meds. Well, somebody needing all these medicines must be very ill indeed. He hasn't got long to live. He won't last a day out. Well, when he's gone, let us know. Why? There wouldn't be anything suspicious about it. Well, then us report all deaths. Even if they aren't suspicious. New rules, it's just formality. A quick look at the body is all that will be needed. Good day to you. Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll have the good news. Because I have been seen by all these medicines, Everyone will think that Kasim died from natural causes, including Serena and the police. The police? They have been asked to report all death. So what's the bad news? They have to see the body. Oh, don't worry. I have another plan. Where is the box with the body in it? I hid it in the storeroom. Good. Leave it there. Do you think we can tell Serena now that Kasim is dead? It might be a good idea. Would you like to tell her? No. It would sound better coming from you. Don't tell her how it happened. She'll want to know. We'll make something up when we've thought of something. Well, it will need to be good. How do you think Serena will react? She's very emotional but not in a good way. I think she'll take it well. She's not the hysterical type. <coughs> I'll go calm her down. Tell her that she'll soon be able to seek a scene. But how? <laughs> you find out. It's another part of my plan.
the thieves cave, there was a problem. Are you sure you've checked the board correctly? Yes, several times, and there is some missing. It's been stolen. Who could you shut up thing? We could wear feet. <laughs> well, we wouldn't steal our own gold. We may be stupid, but we're not that stupid. Who else has been in here? On your welcome visit. And he didn't take anything with him, not even himself. And now he's been stolen as well as the gold. I think we need to go to town to do some investigation. Time for some sinister music. I'm a very busy person, you know. I hear that you're the best tailor in the whole city. Indeed, I am Mustafa the tailor. Everyone has heard of me. I'm an expert with a needle, thread, and all kinds of material. Are you the most expert of experts? Indeed, I can even more blindfolded. I cannot believe that. Test me. Very well. Just wait there. In this box, are a number of items that have uh, come apart and need sewing back together again. That should be no problem. That should be no problem. Why? <laughs> Gazo! <laughs> is this what I think it is? What do you think it is? I'd rather not say. Neither would I. Come along. I'll find you somewhere to work. After some time, the tailor had completed his task. He had sewn Kazim back together again. Well, married couples should have some secrets from each other. 
It keeps the romance alive. <laughs> yes, right. Well, that seems to be in order. Good day to you. Come along, Sarah. I'll take you up to the church for the burial. <laughs> So much for your expert tailor. How difficult is it to cut how many fingers they should be on one hand? Well, at least I didn't realize that his ears were upside down. <laughs> Mustafa might not have been an expert tailor, but he did manage to fool Serena and even the police. Not that he would, it would take much. He wasn't complaining and he had been paid. Well, that's the strangest job I've ever heard. And that's no mistake. Is that money I see? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I'm a thief. I can smell money, but it's safe. I'm looking for something more valuable. Where did you get it anyway? I'm not sure I can say. I'm sure you can. I'm a tailor. My name is Mustafa. I'll pay to somebody that have to piece it back together again. Who for? I don't know. It is all very secretive. But I'm sure you can find that house again for a silver piece. Just a silver piece? Don't push your luck. Or someone might have to sew you back together again. I think it is fair. about it. And then he said, Aah! He didn't say anything else after that. <laughs> I reckon whoever told him to come here has our gold and we want it back. And we don't want anyone else to know. We need to find this person. We will. The house is down there, down that street. We'll sneak back at night and kill everyone. But you'll be dark. Are you sure we will be able to find the right house? They all look the same. I made a mark on the door with my knife. We'll find it all right. What about the tailor? Well, we don't need to worry about him. Good. Let's have our music again. <laughs> It's a good job I have another plan and a knife. So Morgiana crept away and put her latest plan into action. When it got dark, the thieves, the thieves set out to find their gold. Which one is it? The one with a knife mark on it. When we gain it, we will go and kill everyone. What kind of mark did you make? I carved a cross on the door with my knife. You can't miss it. Hurry up. It's late and I'm getting cold. They have crosses carved on the doors. So they have. How did that happen? It happened because you're useless. We'll never find the right house. I'm sorry. I did my best. Which isn't good enough. You've made me angry, and you know what happens when I'm angry. Bad things happen when he's angry. Very bad things happen. You need to be taught a lesson. I won't make the same mistake. No chance. My 
Reggie, be Mustafa the tailor? I might be. The one who dressed with the dead body back together? There can be many of us. <coughs> it's a skill job. And why did you practice your great skill recently? I already told you, mate. He gave me a punch on the nose and told me not to tell, tell anyone else. Ask him. I would if I knew where he was. You're going to tell me, otherwise he might get another punch. I was given a silver piece last time. Show me. Very nice, very shiny. Would you like it back? Yes, please. Show me the house. So Mustafa showed the thief the house, and the thief was very grateful. That's not what I'd call gratitude. It's not yet. It's, not, it's just not. You won't call it no, I won't. We will, we will be able, able to feel it. You have done well. well. Again, we shall wait till night. Find the house and kill everyone in it. It's a good job there's a hammer and a chisel in Alibaba's workshop. It shouldn't be a problem. Once again, the thieves crept out to find their gold. But we know, because we're smart, that every doorstep had a piece chiseled out of it thanks to Morgiana. They've all got pieces chopped out of them. Why am I not surprised? I don't understand the supernatural force that work. Nonsense! There's someone else with a hammer like to Maybe very angry. Divided by two, that's me and you. Half? Huh? Well, your half might be bigger than mine. Fine! Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a shame about Kasim, but I always said he was a victim of his own greed. The mill seems to be doing quite well now, but whatever happened to those thieves? I'm sure they just haven't given up. They haven't. Come on, Farida. I think I need a rest. I'm starting to hear voices. <laughs> That he showed me the house. He tried to run away, but he soon saw sense. Well, actually, he saw this. Now he can't see much at all with having two black eyes. I've marked the house. The other two idiots marked it. They made the sort of marks that you could hardly see in the dark. And all of finding it by touch, it would have taken ages. What have you marked it with? Luminous yellow paint. You can't miss it. You have done well, and we shall take the cane with us. Why? Because if this plan doesn't work, I shall pour it on the head. I'm sure. Eyes open. Why is that, Sergeant? 
in case you trip over something. Are we actually looking for anything at the moment, Sergeant? We certainly are. Yeah. That Kasim Rock might have turned up again. And he still haven't found any of the gold neck from the mill. And, it, and that's not all that God has me lately. I reckon we have a gang of thieves on the loose. And when they're thieves, there's loot. Usually in a secret hiding place. Any clues? No. Any suspects? Anybody acting suspiciously? <laughs> no. Right, right. Back to the station. We'll see if anything has been reported there. You start from one end and I'll start at the other. We don't need to. According to you, it'll be blindingly obvious if it wasn't for the fact that... I can't understand. I can. You're as useless as the other two. How am I supposed to know that everybody who paint their front doors luminous yellow? You work to know because you're not a criminal mastermind like I am. I am. You're an idiot. Have I mentioned that before? Several times. Now I will pour the paint over your head. No, I resign. I quit. You're stuck anyway. I just need to find a house where there's been a recent death. I need to find someone in the morning. Good day. Excuse me, madam. You look a little upset. No more than upset. I've just been to a funeral. My husband's. Oh, how sad. May I come and pay my respects? Later? Of course, you're too kind, sir. It's the house over there, my brother-in-law's. I'll be along with you. Yes. Inside Ali's house, Serena tried not to be upset. Are you alright, Serena? I'll get by. I'll just find a new husband, a rich one. <laughs> How about looking for a good one, like my Ali? Oh no! Rich wins hands down. Actually, I met a charming chap earlier. He was just sort of my short. That must be him now. Mogiana, Mogiana, will you go onto the door? Or oh, I'll just go do it. Oh, I shouldn't. I should stay right where you are. Right. Too late. Right, get back, all of you. That doesn't look like a suitable husband to me. Are you rich? I'm about to be. He's a thief. How do you know that? Uh... <laughs> you look like a thief. Right now, I look like a murderer. Right now, you look, right now you look like a villain being nicked. But you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything. Well, anything you can prove, and this ceremonial antique sword, just a present for the grieving widow. I was about to explain you have nothing on me. Wrong! We had a number of reports of vandalism in this neighborhood. All the doors have been carved on, and the steps have been chiseled out, and now there's yellow, luminous paint all over the place. A right mess. The same yellow luminous paint you currently appear to be in possession of. We'll call this an exhibit A. <laughs> I'd say we've got you red-handed. Well, yellow-handed. <laughs> Take him away. But that wasn't me. I'm a criminal mastermind. You can't just lock me up for being a vandal. I'll be a laughing stock. Well, I'm sure we can think of lots of other things to charge you with. Even if we have to make them up. <laughs> we'll be back to take statements later. Have a nice day. <laughs> well, do your best. <laughs> well, that was a stroke of luck. Though, I think I know who we have to thank. We might have all been sliced into pieces. Better not mention people being sliced into pieces. I wonder how the police need to arrive just at that moment. Coincidence, I suppose. Come along, Serena. I'll go and get you a drink. You'll feel a lot better then. I won't. 
and then you can go out and and find a new husband. <laughs> I don't really want a new one. I just want the old one back. I wish Kasim was here again. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> Vogiana, Vogiana, where has she got to? You called? You've missed all the fun. Though I think you knew what was happening anyway. What's that? My report card from the College of Sorcery. <laughs> Using my ingenuity to get rid of those robbers, I earned me an awful lot of points. I have enough now to allow me to do my first real piece of magic. What are you going to use it on? A better job? Something more glamorous? No, I like it here. Besides, I've already used it. What on? Kasim, but you, but you. I have just recovered from a very strange experience. I have woken up in a hole in the ground with two men shoveling soil on top of me. It gave me quite a shock. It gave the two men quite a shock when I sat up. I don't remember a thing. Don't you remember? No. How are you, Ali and lovely sweet Morgiana? We're well. Good, for you are a fine brother. Alibaba is running the mill now. And doing a good job, I'm sure. You know, I have the strangest idea that I'd like to become a carpenter and lead a simple, quiet life. I have seen the future, and it's in peg. Money isn't everything, you know. Now, I must go and find Serena. She must have missed me. You used your first piece of magic? On Kasim? I felt bad for Serena. She wasn't as nasty as she pretended. It was all an act. She just wanted Kasim back the way he was. He's not the way he was. He's better. He's being nice. Yes, he's being nice. And his ears are on the right way up. And he has the right number of fingers in each hand. Now, I think you mentioned pain. <laughs> <laughs>